from the 36th district representative frame. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, today we are going to take another gigantic step towards justice for the working people of Washington state by finally asking the wealthiest among us to pay their fair share. And we will do that, Madam Speaker, with the passage of this capital gains excise tax on the extraordinary profits from stocks, bonds, and other capital assets. As you know, Madam Speaker, Washington State has the most upside down and regressive tax code in the nation. It's a tax code that asks the lowest income Washingtonians to pay six times more in taxes as a share of their income when compared to our highest earning households. We must rebalance the tax code for Washington's working people, Madam Speaker. And earlier this session, we began to address that injustice by passing the working families tax exemption. And today we will right another wrong in the tax code by demanding that less than one half of 1% of all Washington taxpayers, including some of the wealthiest people in the world, share in the responsibility of funding early learning, childcare, and our public schools. And Speaker, it is by design that less than one half of 1% of Washingtonians will pay. And here's what, what is exempt, Madam Speaker. The first $250,000 of profit every year, retirement accounts, the sale of key natural resources to Washington State, including livestock, timber, and fishing privileges. The sale of all real estate is exempt and the sale of a qualified family-owned small business is exempt. This is how we are rebalancing the tax code so the wealthy pay their fair share and working Washingtonians finally get a break. This capital gains excise tax, Madam Speaker, is a key tool of progressive tax reform and the funds will go towards our most important investment, our kids. All funds go into the Education Legacy Trust account to fund our state's paramount duty of providing an education for our kids. Madam Speaker, please vote yes to invest in working families, in early learning and childcare, and to invest in a better future for all our children. Thank you. Further remarks, the good member from the 15th, 15th District, Representative Defoe. Thank you, Madam.